This school really from the beginning was about any student who wanted to come and have a collaborative, interactive experience, real world learning, project-based learning. LEARN is a regional education service center that serves 24 communities, 52,000 students in southeastern Connecticut. Our approach, and is really our whole philosophy at LEARN, is about collaboration and innovation. We start with a group of very interested folks all coming together to say, what's the vision for this particular school? So, why marine science? We would say, why not marine science? We are home to the Mystic Seaport. We're home to the Institute for Sea Research and the Mystic Aquarium. We're lucky enough to have the Coast Guard Academy right in our backyard. We brought them all together. Southeastern Connecticut is really a working maritime community. The building had to feel like a working marine laboratory. Unlike a traditional school, even the materials on the exterior say working waterfront. The building is clad in metal, it's got an industrial feel. When the students get off the bus, they cross a bridge that's raw steel. It feels like some of the gantry cranes that you see right down on the waterfront about a half a mile away. We have a cafeteria and a great hall where all 270 students can come together, where students can get together and, and do group work together or, or even build relationships together. We have a state-of-the-art aquaculture lab that most universities would love to have. We're actually working with the Mystic Aquarium. We're actually going to be doing some research that they would love to do there, but they don't have the space and we do. Learning is on display throughout the school, whether it's the open home base, the aquaculture lab, or the bridge simulator. We think of the space as agile. It can be reconfigured by students and teachers very easily. A core principle of this building was the fact that every space inside would be available for learning. This is really a school that doesn't have any corridors or dead spaces. Kids learn everywhere. Our teachers do an unbelievable job of creating different areas for students depending on if they want to work independently or if they want to work in a group. A student can go right out into uh, the common area and be able to work on projects or work on an assignment or improve skill building. Whatever it is that students are working on, they're able to go ahead and move and adjust tables and uh, small moving walls in order to work together. It's not often that a high school is 5 p.m. when school gets out at 2, has about 30 to 50 percent of the student body still in this building, still working and talking and collaborating with each other because they don't want to go home. They want to be here. Teachers will tell you that in a building like this, it's easy to teach when you have the technology and you have the space and you have the flexibility to be able to do your job at the highest level. And that's what we have here. 